slider to get back in. He got behind 2-1. Right back with another breaking ball. It's not up. You get the timeout. You get the timeout. We got a warning on balls and strikes coming from the Texas dugout. Nice. Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah, tells me that was too low barking a little bit. Certainly wasn't talking to David Pierce. He's in the third base coaching box. Troy Tulowitzki has, along with Philip Miller, has, has kind of taken over the hitters on this team. And looks like he's fighting for his guys early. And talking with some folks in the Texas program, he was very motivated after their performance two nights ago and, and challenging guys that they've got to have better at bats in this game. And now he's going to put the, put the mask on to make sure they can't hear him. Definitely can't see where it's coming from. That's right. Got him on the edge. Hodo caught looking. That is large right there. And he did it with another breaking ball. So he gave him the fastball 2-2 two -two and it was 98. He missed just down. But like he did three different times, Tidwell in this at bat, he was able to land that breaking ball in even or even fastball counts as well. Be athletic for his size. And then you got Pete Turquet, who's the hottest hitter in this Tennessee order, batting 400 in the postseason. But you can just tell, we talked about the umpiring a second ago, and that's now a warning for each dugout, just to let you know. <laughs> yeah, and if, so if you're wondering, you get a warning, next time you're gone. That's it. Can't argue balls and strikes, or at least you can't do it twice. Well, and for me, look, the umpires, in my opinion, a little bit right. too involved right now. You know, it's a big game. It's a big game. It's the College World mm -hmm. Series. I mean, leave them alone. Unless it gets just terrible, just leave them alone. We've already had a warning to each pitcher on time. We hadn't seen many of those, and now we've got a warning to each dugout already. You know, so for me, it's just just back off and let them play the game. Yeah, pitch clock warnings for both pitchers. We don't see that very no. often during the season. <laughs> no, we don't. Matter of fact, I don't know that I've seen one. There he goes. Great jump, swing and a miss. Throw to second is wide. Another stolen base for Texas. And Tony Vitello has come to home plate to talk with Jeff Macias, who said, don't come a step further. Well, he, he wants interference. Couldn't tell if there was any contact. Tony just told every umpire out there that that guy shouldn't be in second. Let's see what we got here, Ben. We got the swing and miss on the breaking ball. There's no contact. Right? So if he hits the ball, he right. definitely would have been interference, right? Well, in a plus plus play in baseball, and it's hard to think about it, but sometimes you teach your catchers when a guy leans uh -huh. over, purposely make contact. Because he, if he's leaning over the plate and you can just kind of get into him a little bit, the guy's out. He's out every time. And it's a, it's a play, you, you know, it's almost like being a pitcher and the ball's a comebacker to you, but you're positioned right behind you on defense and you want to let that ball go. But that's the kind of one you want to kind of create contact yes. if you're the catcher. And it would have been 100% because he's out of the box. He fell yes, towards he home plate. 1-0 to Douglas Hodo. Who was taken out of this game after three innings. Well, I'd say stuff-wise, probably Texas. Ball, now, it's outside. Tennessee is, is, is here because their bullpen. I'd say at this point in the game, it's advantage Texas in the bullpen. Ball four, it's inside. Four-pitch walk, second walk of the frame from Hunley. Oh, we got another warning. Tony Vitello just got thrown out of the game. Somebody from Tennessee got thrown out. It's either Vitello or one of his coaches. And Vitello coming out to plead his case, but it happened from the third base up by Mike Morris.
Ross Kivett is the one pleading his case, and based on Ross's reaction, it was the assistant that got tossed and not the head coach. And Kivett has exited the dugout and gone back to the clubhouse. This is right in line with the personality of this Tennessee coaching staff in many ways. Yeah, there's no question about it. This is a, a fiery group that is going to let their opinion be known. And so here's ball four, a fastball that runs off the plate. And Ross that was Kibbit. after the ejection, yeah, by the way, the okay. throw of the binder. And he's letting everybody have it. Ross Kivett not happy. And I'm not exactly sure if that's still about the interference or we're yelling balls and strikes. But Mike Morris coming from third base. Yeah. Yeah, Which but is, that, all that was after. The throwing of the binder was after no, 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 somebody no, no. had been tossed. Now, I will say this. Morris, from his position, had a view right into the Tennessee mm -hmm. dugout. What he can hear on the field, I don't know. But what he can see is direct line with where Kivett was. And this umpiring crew has made it very clear. They're not going to hear yeah. it from anybody but the head coach, right? We already saw Tulowitzki warned. And Ross Kivick got tossed quickly. And I just don't like it. Wait, wait, wait. I don't like it. I think the umpires, in my opinion, are out of control on this. It's been too much warnings that we never see. It's been warning this, warning that. And they're not understanding the moment of what's going on right now. Like, there is such a short leash all the way around, and it shouldn't be that here at the College World Series. You can see Kivett in the smoky gray right next to the orange shirt slam his fist down on the railing where his binder was after this ball four, and Morris comes halfway down the line to get closer to the Tennessee dugout. And look, Macias doesn't toss him. No. So, so we got the third base umpire tossing a coach from, from the bench. This is Mike Morris. And you get tossed for slamming your binder on the top of the dugout? Is that what you're getting tossed for? Eric Kennedy takes a first pitch strike. Well, we got fan bases invested, coaches invested. This is a game that is high stress for both sides and the men in blue. It's an elimination game in the College World Series. Kennedy hit a three-run home run in the second for the first blast. Yeah, and if you're Sean Hunley, boy, you better bring it back in because you got a hitter that has already